So imagine this is a test case from the start to the end. And here, some actions occur. If I wanted to add some stuff, some actions to this flow, I go to toolbox. And let's say I want to test the API for this mathematical functions. So for example, all I have to do is drag this multiply in here. And now, if you look over here to the right, I get two inputs, right? I get an A and a B. So for example, let's do five times four. Now, come down here. And what do we expect? When we do five times four, we expect 20, right? And it just makes sure that it validates. So what just happened is I created a test case. So the test case is use this multiply API, which will invoke some code that will contact the server and multiply five times four. And then the expected value is 20. And we're going to check to see if that works. So I'm going to hit F5 to run. Give it a second. Check it out. The print log here, guys. It did everything. Now it's going to populate the results, which I think I turned off. So I'm going to show them to you here. If we expand all, so we can see, here's the test case, right? Multiply five times four, the result is 20. And our checkpoint is we expected 20 and we got 20. So then it's a pass. Great stuff. We just tested the multiplication functionality of our application. And there may be many other functionalities, right? Whether your API does, you know, like uh, get username, get password, maybe get address, set address, and so on and so forth. That's the kind of things that you should be testing through your API. So let's go back to the diagrams and we'll discuss it more.